Pisco, Peru, uh, fishing, really clean fish. Yeah. from of the north part of the Paracas Peninsula, right? And that in front is which we call the Candelabro Geoglyph. So that's an excavation of sand on the rocks, right? The kind of this rock is a sedimentary rock. What it means? Maybe a lot of years ago, or in Paracas main time, all this place has been covered for the sea. So with the pass of the time, the sea was getting away of the coast, and all the minerals of the sea were staying implanted on the rocks, right? I mean, salt, carbon, iron ox oxidation, sand, etc. Well, so about this geoglyph, who made it, who belonged or how old is it, nobody knows exactly because never even somebody found some human rest or some rest of carbon dating around here, you know, carbon dating. Just some people that came to this place to study gave us hypotheses about this, right? So one of those, of those hypotheses, us, or just to use it as a signal of the beginning for our independence, right? Well, there are so many hypotheses, but for the short time that we have now, I cannot tell you everyone, but there are hypotheses told us about pirates and also about aliens, you know? But the truth is that maybe for the side of the peninsula that is located, but neither the strong winds that we have in Paracas cannot raise it. You know, Paracas has a Quechua meaning. Do you know what is Quechua? Quechua was the first Peruvian language that the Incas spoke, right? So the meaning of Paracas in Quechua is rain of sand. For the strong winds that we have in Paracas in any season, coming from the south to the north, but neither the strong winds that we have in Paracas in any season cannot raise it, right? That's the most interesting of the geoglyph. Well, and uh, also here in this place, our humble current, you know, this cold water that we have in the south, and our weather don't let with the fog to get any condensation so we don't have a strong rains in this place, right? Well, so maybe you're asking... <laughs> I'm in <laughs> This isn't snow, it's bad, it's, it's bird. <laughs> yeah, look at here in the yard. <laughs> And they were giving us a weapon too. Yeah. 
once again. So the sea lion, that guy is a male. Smaller is the brown pelican with brown wings. Red feet and red, red legs, you know, the Inca term. And yeah, in Spanish we call it saltillo because they have the Florida and Resident where we have about 115 species, right? The major forest from here are different seasons of the years. And there is a young one, you know, you can get the difference between a young and an old. And because they feed of all these species, the one with a white head, white chest, gray wings, and gray feet, it's the Peruvian booby, el piquero peruano. So over there we can see, or we will see, some parts of the Peruvian. Queens. And look at there, there's a sea lion's colony. So Peruvian boob is back too. It's a baby. But now it's happening something crazy with the Peruvian boobies and something sad with the Peruvian boobies, you know, because normally they made they made three reproductions every year, but the last three years they made just two reproductions, you know? So the principal reason uh, that the Peruvian booby population is going down, maybe it's the Niño Corral, you know, the Corriente del Niño. It's a warm water coming from the north to this place, so in every Niño season, the fish is that all the birds use like the food migrate to the south with this cold water. So the birds just stay here without food, you know, without natural habitat. And that's really terrible. And you know, normally a Peruvian booby egg normally took two weeks, but now it's taking between three weeks and one month, you know, so the, the, the difference is really big. Mm -hmm. Means 200 kilos.
because I picked the one hour from here. I'm from the closest island, so. so no exporta por toneladas. Exactamente uno se podría decir el, el precio. Sí, sigue bajo. Sí. Ahora está bajísimo. ¿A dónde? A Estados Unidos, Canadá. the principal reason, the Niño current, right, the Corriente del Niño, I said over there, so the, the warm water coming from the north to this place, right, so you know, So those are, those are the white cormorants. You see, get the difference between a male and a female in all the places. So look at there, there is a group of record vultures eating a sea lion dead.
This is under construction. Temple of the Sun, this wall, from here as far as the other street, not the front of this, so it is missing. So the archaeologists found a lot of loose rocks everywhere, and so when they excavated them, they found the rocks underground, and uh, well, of course, they are telling us through these indentations, they melted down gold, silver, copper, bronze on top. So look at this. This piece is missing. How many pounds of gold could be there? More than 20. Who knows? More. Big enough and a very strong to tie the rocks in order to make anti-earthquake system. So this is one of the architectural jobs they made is machiembrado or the male and female way so the other rock comes on top but the other rock had a lot of indentations here one two three four the big one five maybe and some others made uh, some other had many but anyway they fit together only one time in order to make this perfect job, they were going to carve this piece coming here millimetrically. Very accurate. Even though these corners, these walls, because once they fit together, they couldn't move away. They couldn't take out. Do you follow? Otherwise, this. between the 17th and 18th centuries. And uh, this is the famous Plaza of Armas, the famous and a historical main square. And so now we are going to visit the cathedral, my friends. Please, for this uh, cathedral, you guys need your tickets, the $10 ticket. Okay, don't forget to pick. Yeah, yeah. I was in Lima and then, and then one of the, um, the tour, I, I ran a One of them in Cusco here, and then the other one is the right. Look at that. Originally, the pre Inca Quechua, the Quechua view, is a temple dedicated to the sun. Every year, on this green area, on June 24th, you know, takes place the Sun Festival. Originally, originally the Sun Festival took a huge party to worship the Sun on June 21st. For that event, in commemoration to this, uh, you know, powerful sunlight, uh, Spanish times. And uh, history says the shamans, the healers for this event of June 21st came from everywhere and uh, they walked underground here. It means there are many Latin. Hi. Hi, Alex. Uh, Alex is over there taking my picture. These are uh, Inca ruins. 
Okay. <laughs> take something of the Tell the camera how many men it takes to move one. How many? Yeah, 2,000. Yeah, it took 2,000 men to move this rock. <laughs> That's right. All of them. No, I couldn't. and even from the jungle Amazon basin. Until today... This is Alex, and we're here eating eating cooked guinea pig. This is guinea pig. Did you take food? There it is, man. Guinea pig on the menu. <laughs> Say hi, Alex. It's like cussing up leather. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes peanut more than anything. <laughs> Good.
Well, like this one, like a house with the caretakers, gables and touches. No, you have to put in your imagination that kind of roof to all my people. This is important. No. I told you, try to put the astronomy. If you have your... <laughs> it's no original. This experiment was did almost 40 years ago. One professor 
professor of the Cusco University, came to Machu Picchu and he did this, this experiment. According to this professor, Chavez, he said for the Incas, the way to Cairo was, the beginning was this, to Cairo, well, it is the Incas, the beginning, they used to search the natural weakness of the rock, you know, the natural crack of the rock, that was the beginning. Professor Binga, he found in this area, Hey, Amber, can you take a picture of us? Yeah. Thank you. This time's kind of weird. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Smile. Hi, uh, <laughs> uh, Machu Picchu, <laughs> Peru. <laughs> This is a this is a trail going up going up a mountain uh, near Machu Picchu. It's a different mountain. It's part of the same trail. Someone else coming up here. Crazy bastard. No. Uh. 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 We're almost near the top, and uh, this is the town I came from. And on the other side, I have a big cliff. If you fly around, we're done. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of the trains that go between Cusco and uh, Machu Picchu. I like ferns, and this is a nice one. Okay, we're almost uh, 2,400 meters above this river, and uh, the river is 2,000 meters above sea level, and it just got obliterated by the fog. Okay, bye. There's uh, 130 different types of orchids in this area. 
This is one of them. <laughs> this is another. Okay, we're at the top, 2400 meters from the river. And this is the route the bus takes to go up the mountain to Machu Picchu. Uh, obviously they can't go straight up so they follow this uh, path. <laughs> that was the best. And from this mountain, this is also Machu Picchu. I can't believe I can see it from up here. This this uh, this top mountain here is what you see in the postcards. It's usually covered in uh, in rain fog, and so there it is, our rain forest. Yeah, nice. This is where I was yesterday, except on that mountain. Right there. <laughs> That's neat. Uh, yeah, not your peach. The Indians basically terraced the whole mountain and grew things on the terraces. And here come the clouds, and that's the end of Machu Picchu. <laughs> That's the train station, 2,400 meters below. The wind can blow the rain away just in minutes. This is a cliff.
Awesome. And the rain is blowing towards me. This mountain? Oh, yeah. The the name. The mountain? C. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Hi. <laughs> this is the fellow who followed me up the uh, mountain and care is a caretaker of the area. This is part of a ridge that the Incas call the Sun Gate. The sun would come shine through these uh, through these uh, indentations in the cliff right there and it would go all the way over to the village Temple of the Sun This is the trail going back down.
take a picture of us? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back, Nico's group, let's go back. It's too hard to stay there. Uh, it is a scoring hill as well. Forget that development for the last couple of years. You can hear this tower, actually this is the city of the city of the city. The city of 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 Public initial schools, right side and left side of the Avenue Laws Education and Police Compulsory. Two years kindergarten, initial school five years, and the uh, high school five years, and university can be five years and eight years, like human medicine is eight years.
Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I never would have known if he hadn't tripped. Let's go back, Nico's group. Okay. There you go. This look at here the, the fruit. So uh bang a lot thing for two. Okay now. This is where archaeology is about houses of common people. And common people houses were built exactly with this. And the next thing the right side is the wall of the group. What's called the type of the data and how it was excavated? 
because Inca people celebrate every day different kind of rituals during sunrise and other ones during sunset and celebrate these rituals with human sacrifices. Human sacrifices. Okay. Take the children, boy or girls from uh, royal families. Okay. From uh, nobles. Okay. One day. <laughs> but taking a really many books, probably you're going to find only as we are watching the same God. This God was just only a royal king. Right? Uh, the stars, you know, and the And the scientific name is not to a political body. And which blood will serve the truth in the field? No more insight. Looking at the outside. Nobles were killed first, okay, and we started to use when Spanish came, okay, and now we have to take a lot of information about Inca culture, but the next was the problem during the time. They take information instead of limestone is destroyed by chemical erosion. Here we can see a mirror, look at a military wall protecting this. The Inca religious symbol is this. It's this one, the black one. And it music shows only three steps. And the Wanaco religious symbol shows five steps. And the Inca's interpretation is the picture. Can you please? What is in there? The first level, this one, this place name is Hanampachi. Hanampak means the macro the spiritual ego. In this place live that is not the not the ego, it's not the sky. This world used only Catholic people. In the sky, what is that, no? Apu Chi. Protector of Cusco City.
Both of us? Yeah, that's that's right. Right way. That way, yeah. That's right. That way. That way, yeah. Okay, put you guys in that side. Yeah. Oh, that's in Valley. Okay. One. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 We got them all printed out, haven't we? Yeah, we we have uh, we have been in this valley and we want to work in this valley. So what we're doing over there? Yeah, yeah. Six hundred meters in the Andes. All right, action. Hello. Hello. Andes. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. Good. It's a marketplace in uh, in a small town in Peru, 40 minutes from Cusco.
super hard thing. Only this thing, those in the Philippines and that you do those things that work. And that's why one of the points. Why the Puma? The Puma. This is kind of architecture. This is the polygonal architecture style. Because we can find more than three corners or angles. Angles, okay? Porque polygonal porque tiene más de tres ángulos. Señores, vamos a ubicar la piedra de mayor peso. It's the heaviest stone in the area. Who's go? Eso. ¿Sabe qué? Sí, Danito. Cusco Stadium. Soccer, I guess. Thank <laughs> you. 
मॉनिटर है La fortaleza. El término rojo se debe a la presencia de tierra de ese color que mancha las paredes. Bernabé Cobo, poco tu cara, vos a Tapu, Tapu means Westin House. Bernabé Cobo, Spanish Chronicle, he said, when the night inca, Pacha Puti, when Tapu Machai Bab, that you visited. Frecos, 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 Frecos,
Just, just, just hold it like this. Hold it like this. No, no, no. Dime. E, agarra, así, y se aprieta. Presiona, botón. No, no, no. Solamente normal. It's on. It's on now. It's on. Tú mira, así, así, tú mira, tú me mira. Así, ¿me entiendes? Ya, ya, ya. Es on now, yeah. Okay. En esta cámara hay alejamiento y acercamiento. Acercamiento, acercamiento. It's on now. Let's go. Let's go. It's on. See this? Yeah, see. Let me fix it with me. We'll get up here, I forgot. Okay. It's just done. Press one out of it? No, no, no. Okay, okay, right here. Yeah, come on. Gracias. Okay. I can do the fire, no? It's on. It's on. Let's go. 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 Claudia Iris, happy, uh, I, you, see, happy. Uh, <laughs> bueno. <laughs> okay. okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. All right. Oh. It might have come out, I said, gracias. No, let's see how it came out. Okay. We can, we can do gracias, this. linda. Okay. Hola. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi. So. And you happy? Yes. I'll come yeah. back. Come back to Cusco. <laughs> See. Okay. You are happy. You're happy. Linda yes. Happy. See. Gracias.
is the Anthropological Museum in Lima. Peru's flag. This is a model of a Machu Picchu I have looked at.
acompaña los ojos y el jugo, ¿no? Y de la noche. Las colmillas del felino y por las líneas en el cuerpo, ¿no? Ahí va la cuerpo humano. Están los músicos y aparte de tener importancia social. La costa es el uso de la para la edificación, pero a manera de la